Hello, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with the Labor Day holiday schedule. First, let's look at the list of closures. Plano Municipal Offices, the Animal Shelter, the Day Labor Center, the Interurban Railway Museum, the North Texas Municipal Water District Transfer Station, Oak Point Nature and Retreat Center, Sam Johnson Recreation Center, Texas Pure Products, are all closed Monday. Plano Public Library locations are closed both Sunday and Monday. What's open on Labor Day? Carpenter Park, Oak Point, Liberty, and Tom Muhlenbeck Recreation Centers are all open from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. High Point Tennis Center is open 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the Plano Aquatic Center will be open from 1 to 6 p.m. Now your trash will be picked up one day later than your regular day. For example, if your trash is collected on Mondays, it will be picked up on Tuesday. Speaking of trash collection, have you signed up for your personal trash and recycling collection reminder? It's simple. All you have to do is go to Plano.gov slash collection reminder. Enter your house number and click search. Scroll through the drop down list of addresses to find your address. You will then receive an authorization code. You then select the type of alert you wish to receive and an alert time. Your trash and recycling alerts will remind you to place your Carter items out the night before your collection day, and the alerts always adjust for holiday schedules. The 2022 Peanut Butter Drive is officially underway. The drive benefits the North Texas Food Bank. This year it's bigger and better than ever, expanding across 13 counties. It is designed to impact more than 300,000 children facing hunger in North Texas. The city's goal this year is to collect 250,000 pounds of peanut butter. Mayor John Munns challenged his counterparts in Allen, Frisco, McKinney and Richardson to do the same. For more information, go to ntfb.org slash peanut butter drive. Chances are you've probably seen one of our police department's mobile speed monitoring trailers around town, showing you the speed you're driving. Drivers who get caught speeding often tell officers they were unaware of how fast they were going. The trailers are all about education and awareness, reminding the motoring public of their speeds. We set them up in high crash areas and at locations where residents have witnessed a high number of traffic infractions. It's important to know these trailers are for information purposes only. There are no cameras or license plate detection devices. Traffic tickets will not be written from these units. Police also install these smaller fixed speed detection devices in neighborhoods and other areas where they receive speeding complaints. So slow down and stay safe out there. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, Plano.gov. We'll see you next week. Hi, Plano. Steve Stoller here. If you found this video interesting, be sure to subscribe by clicking here. This is Plano's official YouTube channel, and subscribing keeps you up to date. If you're interested in learning more about Plano, click here to watch more news from the city.